What's going on smart people? Quick video today. I'm trying to get as much studying in today as I can because tomorrow is the first day of my second semester of grad school. It's kind of nice starting grad school back up on a Wednesday. That way it's not an entire week of just being thrown back into the mix. Having said that, it would also be very nice for it to start the following week after qualifiers. But I can't really complain because today and yesterday I didn't have class, so it's better than nothing. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Tomorrow officially I only have have my second semester course in quantum mechanics, but as I've mentioned in a previous video, I'm also sitting in on a course in a second part course in quantum field theory. So tomorrow I will be taking my quantum two course as well as sitting in on quantum field theory. And that's really going to be the trend for Mondays and Wednesdays. I don't actually have class on Fridays, which is nice. So Mondays and Wednesdays, it's quantum two and quantum field theory two. And then Tuesdays and Thursdays, I have uh, computational physics and statistical mechanics. So I'll be taking all of those courses this week. And I got to be honest, it is kind of nice to have at least one dose of statistical mechanics before the qualifying exam, because uh, still right now I'm having a bit of trouble with statistical mechanics. I feel completely good about classical thermodynamics. However, for this qualifying exam, StatMech is still kind of scaring the shit out of me. So in reality, this first week of classes is just going to be two days of classes. And based off of last semester, I can pretty much assume that it's not going to be syllabus week. I think that we're probably going to hit the ground running and start going over material, which is okay with me because I can kind of consider that even more studying for this qualifying exam. Really, until next week comes around and really when I get my grades back, I'm just going to have qualifying exam in the back of my mind at all times. At this point, I feel really good about classical mechanics and E&M and especially quantum mechanics. If there was going to be a downfall for me with this exam, it would have to do with statistical mechanics. Now, this is kind of a plus side though. The reason for it is I do get to take this test twice. I'm not planning on doing it. I think I've been studying enough to give myself an honest shot of passing at the PhD level my first try. But the reason I say that this is a good setup is because I'm taking an entire course in StatMech this semester. So if that ends up being my Achilles heel for this qualifying exam, it damn sure won't be the next time around. And because of how much time I've put into studying for this stupid test, sorry, I don't mean to call it a stupid test, uh, it's all documented. It's all in a LaTeX document, which means it's not something I'm going to have to repeat in the future. At that point, I'll be able to refer to my notes that are tailored for me specifically, which will be a huge help next time around if I end up needing it. But I'm not planning on needing it. But anyways, tomorrow, like I said, I have quantum and QFT. I'm kind of excited to see what those classes entail for the semester. I'm assuming I'll get my syllabi for those two courses tomorrow, which means tomorrow's video will probably be on that, just saying what we'll be covering in the semester. Uh, let me know in the comment section, how long do you have on break before your next semester starts? Or have you already started? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys there.